Baseball has been a popular sport for a very long time. But did you know that there was a time when African American baseball players and white baseball players did not play together? This all changed when a man named Jackie Robinson showed the world what a great player he was. He also showed the world how much courage he had too. What does the word courage mean? This is the incredible story of Jackie Robinson. Jack Roosevelt Robinson, otherwise known as Jackie, was born in 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. He was the youngest of five children. His parents were sharecroppers, people who worked the land for others for very little pay. Jackie's father left his family when Jackie was just a baby. His mother, Mally Robinson, moved the family to Pasadena, California to be near relatives who would help her raise her children. The Robinsons lived in a small house on Pepper Street. Mally worked many different jobs to support her family. Despite hardships, ja Jackie grew up in a close and loving family. From an early age, Jackie was a talented athlete. When he became a student at John Muir High School, his brothers Mac and Frank encouraged him to play sports. Jackie played football, basketball, baseball, tennis, and he ran track too. He played shortstop and catcher on the baseball team, quarterback on the football team, and guard on the basketball team. In track and field, he won awards for the long jump. After high school, Jackie attended Pasadena Junior College. Again, he played basketball, football, baseball, and he ran track. On the football team, he played quarterback and safety. He was shortstop and the leadoff hit hitter for the baseball team, and he broke school long jump records. Before long, the University of California in Los Angeles, known as the UCLA, offered Jackie an athletic scholarship. What was a scholarship? Who else earned a scholarship? Jackie was happy to accept. While at UCLA, Jackie proved himself to be a good student and an amazing athlete. As a UCLA student, he competed in four sports, baseball, basketball, football, and track. Jackie was selected for the All-American football team, which is a team of players from different schools who are the best players in the country. When Jackie left for college, he began playing football for Honolulu Bears, a Hawaiian semi-professional team. When the United States became involved in World War II, Jackie joined the United States Army. After two years, he was promoted to the officer rank of second lieutenant. Growing up, Jackie had been aware of discrimination. When Jackie joined the Army, he realized that there was discrimination there also. Jackie felt the need to challenge these attitudes. When you challenge something, you question whether it is right. When Jackie was in the Army, he refused an order to sit at the back of the military bus. Jackie felt that the color of his skin should not determine where he could or could not sit. Jackie was court-martialed, or charged with a crime, for refusing this order. However, at his trial, he was found to be not guilty. Jackie left the Army toward the end of World War II. He was signed to play shortstop for the Kansas City Monarchs. It was in this league that African-American players were allowed to play baseball. Jackie traveled all over the Midwest during the season with this league. One day, a man named Branch Rickey saw Jackie play. Branch Rickey was the president of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Branch thought Jackie was an incredible player. He wanted Jackie to play for his team. The only problem was that the Brooklyn Dodgers was an all-white team. Back then, African Americans and white people did not play 
professional sports together. Branch met with Jackie and told him that he needed Jackie to be very brave. He wanted Jackie to become the first African American to play in the all-white Major League Baseball program. This was referred to as breaking the color barrier. That meant that before this time, a person's skin color was a barrier or something stopped them from playing in many sports leagues. Branch wanted Jackie to break this barrier. He explained to Jackie that at first he would probably be treated badly by most of his fans and even by some of his fellow players. But Branch was willing to gamble or take a chance that Jackie was strong enough to break the color barrier and change attitudes. He believed that Jackie had self-control and courage. What sort of person did Branch Rickey think Jack Robinson was? Before Jackie agreed, he asked Branch a question. Jackie asked, Are you looking for someone who is afraid to fight back? Branch replied, No, I need a player with guts enough to fight back. What is the word you learn that means responding to unfairness by refusing to take physical action? Jackie Robinson agreed to be that man. Jackie traveled to Daytona Beach, Florida for spring training. He began playing with the Montreal Royals, a training team for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Jackie played well. The most difficult days for Jackie were often when he was off the field and traveling with the other players. During this time, Jackie could not stay in the same hotels as his teammates. Teammates are members of the same side. He could not eat at the same restaurants and diners. Jackie did not like this one bit, but he was determined to become the first African American Major League Baseball player in the United States. And then it happened. Just six days before the start of the 1947 baseball season, Jackie got the call that he had been waiting for. The Dodgers wanted him to play. Sadly, not all of his teammates were happy about this. Some said they would rather sit out and miss a game than play with Jackie. But Jackie's teammate, Pee Wee Reese, came to his defense. You can hate a man for many reasons, Pee Wee said. Color is not one of them. On April 15, 1947, when Jackie put on the Brooklyn Dodgers uniform wearing number 42, he broke the color barrier. As the first African-American player on a major league team, Jackie made his duet at Ebbets Field before a crowd of 26,623 people, including more than 14,000 African-American fans. How do you think Jackie felt on the day he finally played for the Brooklyn Dodgers? Jackie knew that he would have to be strong and concentrate on the game and nothing else. At first, there was a great deal of hostility. Hostility is a feeling or act of unfriendliness anger or dislike. People called him names, but Jackie just played baseball. Some of his teammates would not sit with him. No matter. Game after game, Jackie focused on playing, even when pitchers threw balls and tried to hit him. In one game during his first year as a professional player, Jackie received a seven inch gash or a big cut on his leg. It was a deliberate injury inflicted on him during a game between the Dodgers and the Philadelphia Phillies. It was an attempt to intimidate him. The word intimidate means to try to make someone do something by making them afraid. Still, Jackie refused to quit. He simply said, I'm not concerned with your liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. Do you think Jackie Robinson had courage? 
Who else did you hear about who refused to be intimidated into quitting? Later in his baseball career, Jackie hit a home run, a triple, a double, and a single in the same game. Jackie could run, hit, steal bases, and play second bases like nobody else. His friend and teammate, Duke Snyder, said he was the greatest competitor I've ever seen. By the end of his first year in the major leagues, Jackie had played in 151 games for the Dodgers, scored 125 runs, and had 175 hits, including 31 doubles, 5 triples, and 12 home runs. He was named Rookie of the Year, and in 1949, he was chosen as the most valuable player in the National League. Jackie had proven that the world of professional sports is far better when everyone can participate in it. During Jackie's season, the Dodgers played in six World Series. Jackie played in every one. He could hit and he was fast. He averaged more than 110 runs per season from 1947 to 1953 and had a .311 career batting average. Jackie helped the Dodgers win six National League pennants and one World Series title. These impressive achievements make Jackie Robinson one of the best players to have ever played Major League Baseball. Jackie retired from baseball in 1957. Jackie said, the way I figured it, I was even with baseball, and baseball was even with me. The game had done so much for me, and I had done much for it. Jackie Robinson was the first African American inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. He received many other honors too. In 1997, Major League Baseball honored Jackie by retiring his number from all Major League Baseball teams. This is a very special honor and it means that no other Major League player on any team can ever wear this number. Do you remember the number on Jackie Robinson's shirt? Every year since 2004, however, all Major League players wear Jackie's number. 42. Every April 15th to remember the important role Jackie Robinson played in Major League Baseball.